Hey guys, welcome back. So, today, I've got something new, something special. I thought, you know, instead of slinging people into space or using a space plane, why not just use a cannon? You know, it's, a, it's way cheaper. You don't have to build a rocket for any individual person. I know you can, you know, launch multiple pers uh, people at the same time, but I mean, so so can you with a cannon you know you just blow them into space so that's what we're gonna try today so let's build our cannon so here you see the simple design i actually quite like it i'm surprised at how well it came out so you've got the base with the fuel tank for the rocket engine because we're gonna use a rocket um engine to blow them basically into space or not really you know blow uh what is it? uh shoot them off but just yeah you know what I mean. Anyways, moving on. Yeah, so you see the barrel hiding the rocket engine and you see the platform uh, surrounding the bell, the rocket engine bell, so that they can't fall, bes uh, fall beside it or anything. And it, it turned out to work pretty decent actually. So we're gonna look at it right now. And here you see a small test run of the engine. I just want to see if it didn't burn off the actual steel platform. And no, it, it doesn't, so it seems to be working quite well. And here we have our first test. I kind of screwed up. <laughs> I accidentally um, had, the, uh, had the platform uh, disconnect. Anyways, we're going to try it with one curl. Uh, but we, we ended up doing it again uh, later. Uh, start over again. Because um, this guy just blew up. So yeah, we did it. Uh, we relaunched it. Because the curls. Um, yeah, they, they kept falling because the platform was disconnected. And in a minute you're gonna see, hear my um, uh, actual reaction at the time when it uh, when we launched one in just a second. Whoa! So, uh, <laughs> yeah, as you can hear, I was kind of surprised by how well it worked. I thought it was just going to blow up Kerbals uh, minute after minute, but uh, no, it actually worked quite well. Um, no idea why, why the first one just burned. Burned up, maybe launched too fast or something, I have no clue. So I tried to parachute him back in, but for some reason the engine turns off when you get uh, out of uh, a certain range. Kind of strange, but um, I get it because the game can't render, <laughs> you know, the engine propelling itself forward um, beyond a certain point, be out of render range. Anyways, that's not a problem. Um, so we're moving on. So yeah, I tried a few times more. Here's another guy. Uh, he actually almost burned up. I no clue how he survived that because he was like at his max of uh, temperature. But uh, yeah, he survived. So wonderful. Uh, one more time and then we we continue our experiment. So yeah, this is the last guy. Let's see how far he gets. Uh, yeah, I, I tried to put on this RCS, <laughs> see if he could balance himself out. And yeah, he seems to be going mostly straight. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, that that's it really. <laughs> Anyways, now I wanted to try it in space because I wanted to see if we can shoot someone into a uh, collision orbit with the moon or another planet. And so I launched this rocket, but it was way too heavy and I didn't use the right engines. Uh, I kind of over, over constructed this thing. This was way too... it was over. So yeah, this is the second design. Uh, basically, big engines, a ton of boosters. And yeah, well, you know, you'll see, you'll see where it ends up. So yeah, we're almost into space. The rocket, the rocket boosters it just turned off. And they smashed into my rocket engines. Uh, throwing it of course. So we tried it again last time. This time it succeeded. Uh, so yeah, you see it. I just put some small boosters on the... Uh, I put some small boosters on the big boosters. <laughs> so when I disconnect, they activate and pull the boosters away. Almost went wrong again for some reason. I have no idea what's going wrong, but you know, we'll just ignore that. Anyways, let's skip to the part where I deploy the actual cannon. So here it is. Start up the engine. I've got one Kerbal in the barrel. And there he goes. <laughs> I mean, I, that, I'm i surprised. I'm surprised how well it actually worked out. I'm going to see on the map how much we changed the orbit. And it was quite a bit. And now, or last time, I tried to de-orbit one. Well, we're kind of in a collision course with, a, um, with the Earth. But we're gonna see how much further we can change it, like how much um, faster we can have one guy smash into the earth. 
So let's see how that goes. Start up the cannon. As you can see, I've got a uh, engine as well to counter the other engine. And then the RCS to keep it balanced. And it's actually working perfectly. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I wasn't expecting any trouble with it. But, uh, yeah. Also, for some reason, I can't control the turbines quite well. It's just the camera doesn't follow it in the controls neither. So anyways, there we start up the engine, move over, <laughs> see how stable it is, move over to the Kerbal and fire him off! <laughs> there he goes, spinning out of control. I've got this RCS on, I didn't realize that, so we, I mean, it didn't change much of his orbit, to be fair. The RCS thrusters do barely anything against Earth's gravity, but whatever. <laughs> so yeah, there we go, that was our experiment for today.